This is from a resident on uh, Lakehurst Crescent. Question. Porter has stated that 90% of the flights go over the lake completely, but this is just a snapshot of part of one day, and there were 30 flights directly over Bluffs residence. The question is, why is the flyer not truthful, and how can we believe it won't get much worse when it is already too noisy? stated that 90% of the flights go over the lake completely, but this is just a snapshot of part of one day and there were 30 flights directly over Bluffs residence. Why is the flyer not truthful and how can we believe it won't get much worse when it is already too noisy? So it's about the flight paths over the Bluffs. Again, I can only speak for Porter flights. Right today, uh, we have about 17 flights a day that actually go across the shoreline on a northbound uh, route. Those flights right now are uh, somewhere between four and um, and 10,000 feet when they cross that shoreline. They pose absolutely no uh, impediment, uh, no uh, interference with anybody on the ground at those altitudes are well above any other aircraft that are coming to and from uh, Pearson. We, in fact, uh, the flight paths are designed to, in fact, go over, uh, over top of those flights that are landing or taking off from, uh, from Pearson. So, um, nothing will change with the CS-100s. Uh, none of those aircraft are actually designed uh, or, or planned for northern routes. They're planned for places like uh, Calgary, Vancouver, and Los Angeles, and, and Florida. So uh, from our point of view, uh, bringing on the jets uh, uh, will have, if anything, uh, less impact uh, than the existing operation. And the existing operation is designed specifically to not interfere with the enjoyment of those who are on the ground in this ward or in other wards that are, uh, that are along the lakeshore. Uh, 